Okay, welcome back. So, we have, uh, ah yes, because I have saved and reloaded the game, this uh, particular dwarf, uh, Boat, <laughs> her name is Boat, but yeah, they have suddenly decided that they do wish to carry their child around, that they brought with a migrant wave. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird bug that I've never seen it before. Anyway, yes, I have ordered two new sets of bedrooms dug out, and... I would, I'm starting to wish that I hadn't dug them out around the magma pipe like this. It makes them extremely awkward to designate. And, uh, yeah, it's a lot of work every time I want some new bedrooms. Why is there a bucket over there? Is there something in it? Uh, a grown featherwood bucket. It has water in it, which I will never get rid of. I mean, I, I guess I can designate it to be dumped. But, um, they won't. Oh, shit. Warm stone. All oh, right, yeah. Uh, this is right above the magma reservoir with the forges. So, yeah. I mean, <laughs> like I'm trying to keep it more or less in the same place as I go down. But yeah, once we get to there, obviously can't can't dig any bedrooms into that. But uh, one thing I want to st start work on is the magma spewing weapon. I mean, honestly, like, what's the year now? It's late spring in 179. I honestly expect it to be just under constant siege from the undead by now, but I guess sieges just aren't particularly effective in this version. What are you doing out there? Absolutely no idea. They were just wandering around outside. They're not bringing anything in, so... I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Did you get around to making that obsidian sword? Uh, I think they did, but it would appear that somebody has nommed it. Uh, well, actually, it could still be active. See, I did try to go into the arena um, to test obsidian short swords, but you can't. They're not available in the arena, which is sad, but... Oh well. So, yeah. Now... Like, I have a few choices for a magma spewing weapon. I mean, the way Boat Murder did it was they just channeled the lava and just let it naturally flow out. Which is quite easy to do. But uh, it's also really, really slow. Like, seriously slow. Um, and, yeah, Room Carnage, he does it by draining the volcano and then building a pump stack inside the caldera. Um, which, I don't know. I mean, that works well for a text let's play, because you can spend as much time as you like on it, and it doesn't really matter what your frame rate is, but when I'm recording videos, if I have to drain this volcano, like, my frame rate is going to be 10. <laughs> so... I don't think that that's going to work out particularly well. It does go down a seriously long way as well. Like, possibly all the way to the Magma Sea, I don't know. I mean... <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Oop. Reindeer calf has been slaughtered. But yeah, we're down to like level 169 or 154. Depends what that number in the top right says. I don't know. It changes when you move, of course. So, uh, I, d I don't really fancy doing that. I think what I'm going to do is um, just open her up at the side somewhere, but pump the magma out rather than uh, let it roll out. So we'll have some little pump stations here. And it'll just be one pump. So, yeah, and it'll be manually activated because... <laughs> I want to be able to turn it off, you know? Um, right, so you're still complaining about this, aren't you? That's a bit irritating. Uh, is it this tile? Um, I don't know now. You've confused me. Which tile did you cancel? It was... Uh, oh, I think it was those ones. Yes. And that one. Alright, there we go. Yeah, that looks alright. So, yeah, let's get to work on that. I want it to be high enough so that I don't accidentally flood these bedrooms <laughs> with magma. That would be nice. 
so I'm going to use the same principle I used for doing this here. So let's see. So if the reservoir is directly above the bedrooms, in fact, let's just have it an extra level higher up. So it'll have the reservoir here, and it'll be, uh, yeah, we'll want one, I don't know, I mean, yeah, there is quite a lot of map on the western edge. We're right over in the southeast corner of the map here, so, yeah, if I just have it like that, uh, it would help if it didn't change from mine. There we go. Yeah, so I'm not going to have like a huge reservoir. It's basically just going to be a little pipe dug into it. And that way I can dig down here to open that up and fill it up. Yes, that works, I think. We'll need somewhere for the dwarf to actually get in there. So, yeah, a tile like that will do. And so if this tile right here is the impassable part of the pump, which is the output, then it should just spew the magma along there and not incinerate the dwarf. <laughs> uh, hopefully. Well, I don't know, it probably would travel diagonally there, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, so if I make this here... Hmm. Yeah, I think that works for me. Somebody was smelting yeah, we got four copper bars and a silver bar. I would like, there's a pig in my forges, what is this? I would like an extra pickaxe. I, I would like another miner. We don't get stuff mined out quickly enough. So, copper pick. Uh, let's ask for two. I don't know if I have enough for two, but we'll see. Ah, uh, right. Yes, seeds. Where, where did you get that fish from? Uh, raw salmon. Motherfucker! <laughs> Who is fishing? I will, I will kill you. You are. Ooh, you disguised yourself as a ranger. Where are you fishing anyway? Uh, in the farms. All right. All right. No, no fishing. Bad, bad dwarf. Somebody who is idling and probably not very important. Trapper, you're currently eating. What what do you do other than trapping? Dabbling furnace operator. Did I give you furnace operating? Alright, that is a full-time job, so that's fine. Uh, gem cutters aren't exactly very useful, are they? I think one of them's in the military, though. Let's just go with one of these rangers. Yeah, you don't do anything useful. Right, so you can retrain as a miner, if you don't mind. Uh, and yeah, let's go check out the progress here. Aha! Somebody's coming to dig it. Good stuff. It's one of my... Okay, my miner's coming to dig this out. It's one of the legendary ones, so it should be dug out quite quickly. And let's see. There we go, he's done that last bit. I really hope that magma goes through fortifications. Because if it doesn't, <laughs> we might have some problems. Yeah, I'm having to dig off the staircase here to um, get the little reservoir dug out. Which does mean I'm going to have to remember to wall that off before I fill it. Otherwise, yeah, some people might get a little bit of magma on their heads. I'm just saying. Uh, but I'm sure I'll remember. Now, where the hell did you bugger off to? You just ran away. Okay, but my new miner has picked up his pickaxe and he's off to mine some new bedrooms. Uh, we've struck some more gold over here, of course, because this entire mountain is just filled with tons and tons of gold. Pretty awesome. Alright, this is the one I want good armor made in, but I think we have enough copper to possibly make breastplates. Probably not, actually, but... I don't know, there's quite a few in there. Yeah, so... Did that guy make a copper short sword? If he did, it's not even in here, because... I mean, it's active. Yeah, but somebody would have grabbed it straight away. Oh, hold on. Did I say copper short sword? I meant obsidian short sword. Uh, yeah. 42 dwarf bucks worth. 
<laughs> it's probably not very good at all. Uh, let's go to positions. Who is the Swords Dwarf? Right, Zulban Ledcun. And we got a Spear Dwarf as well. Uh, making spears out of copper or silver. It'll probably be copper, I think. But yeah, this uh, these guys do seem to have picked up a weapon, but I don't know what it is. So, Obsidian Short Sword. Oh, I've got a few of them. Yeah, I think he picked up one of the short swords, but that one, whoops, not a crossbow. Duh. Yes, this one is slightly better, I think. Now, this spear guy. Uh, we don't have a spear for you, do we? Nope. We've got some crossbows, but uh, that's no good, is it? We've got a lot of crossbows. No, uh, we'll order you a spear to be crafted. We'll order it here to get the good weaponsmith to do it. Weapons, copper, spear. Ooh, don't put it on repeat. Yeah, so somebody is making a copper breastplate. So I think we have enough bars for it. So, wow, the first piece of crappy copper armor <laughs> being made in the fort. Oh, it's not going to be particularly effective, is it? Alright, somebody... Uh, what is it? Fortifications A. There we go. And it would be nice if my miners would prioritize this, but they probably won't. Well, let's get this dug up anyway. So yeah, we need to dig underneath that so that they can come and do that stuff. And I ordered one of my masons to make blocks. I don't know which one it was. Oh, you're not doing anything. Um, what do you actually need to do? Right, you're, you're the one making blocks. Did you by any chance make any magma safe blocks? <laughs> no. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure andesite is not magma safe. Because yeah, I need those for the, uh, the magma pumps at least, but also being able to build bridges and stuff would be nice. Uh, what do we need to build here then? Well, you make blocks as well. Let's double my chances of getting magma safe blocks. I've got plenty of magma safe stone lying around, I think. I don't know, actually. Yeah, I should probably just set up some uh, stockpile links. It'll be a little, a little bit easier. Right, so it's that one and that one. Right, stockpile, stone. And let's go on over here as well. Change the settings, stone. Um, right, turn off, whoops. Turn off metal ores and economic and clay. I think we have at least one piece of clay somewhere. Uh, let's block all. No. Permit. Hmm. So I can't... Uh, damn it. <laughs> I was hoping to turn off all of these at once, but I guess... Um, so yeah, I can do that, but then that's completely useless, because I want it to only be that. And... I can't hold shift and yeah, I'll do this off camera. Ugh. Okay, there we go. Oop, I just need to link that up as well to this workshop. I already did that with the other one, but uh how are you not dead yet? You stupid goat. This animal can't work. Can't ease either. Take the hint. Go take it outside. Uh did that grass ever grow back? <laughs> it never did. I'm not sure why. It's a really weird. I mean, it's outside. I mean, I know it's on a mountain and everything, but it is clay underneath it, so I'm not sure why that would not grow back. Right, you. You're making blocks. What are you making them out of? Granite. Yeah, I guess that was a residual task, but... Yeah, we should have our haulers hauling some... Uh, Nice magma safe stone to those stockpiles at some point. So, have you dug this place out? You're just getting the last few bits of it. Uh, is that 
Is there a channel there? Granite cavern floor. Open space. Shit. Ah, uh, bollocks. Yeah, I just need to build a ramp there. I managed to cock that up. It's supposed to dig down so there's a ramp, but I accidentally dug the layer underneath as well. Yeah. Let's build it out of the end of sight, that's fine. Okie doke. Right, I can't build the pump yet, because I don't have magma safe blocks. But it will go da -da -da, it will go there like that. And a dwarf should be able to stand here and the magma should pump past them and they should not get incinerated. But I don't know, there are no guarantees of these things. A mason, Doran Eribamod, is taken by a fey mood. Alright, uh, go claim your mason's workshop then. Okay. Yeah, so they should make something useful. <laughs> they just grabbed the stone that they were hauling before they became fey. What was that? Andesite. Yeah, so they'll make something useful, but, you know, it won't be worth a hell of a lot anyway. Uh, yeah, eventually... I mean, I got this artifact millstone in here. Uh, even though it's just a millstone, it still gives people happy thoughts. I bet if I pick somebody just nearby, uh, complaining about a lack of tables, aren't you miserable? What about you? <laughs> uh, buy a nice cabinet, a fine table. I, I don't know. Nobody seems to be caring about my wonderful millstone. But yeah, I was going to say, I'm probably going to pull that out at some point and build a little mist generator in there. Because I was messing around with it the other day and, um, yeah, it's quite easy to make a self-powered one. Uh, you just need uh, a couple of water wheels and a pond. And I'll probably fill the pond with DF hack because dwarves are stupid when it comes to ponds. <laughs> very, very stupid. So, yeah, I've got a Gabbro bridge. That's definitely magma safe. <laughs> definitely. Uh, let's get a door here as well. I don't have any magma safe doors. Uh, I mean, they don't really need to be, but... Unless Pyrolocyte's magma safe. Let me check. No, it's not. But I do already have Mason's Workshops set up with stockpile links for um, magma safe stones, so I can just order a door there. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm gonna have to check in the stocks menu for mechanisms. <laughs> Wherever those may be. My word. This could be a better menu. I'm sure I've said it before, <laughs> but... Ah, there we go. Mechanisms. We have granite and andesite mechanisms. Yay! Uh, okay, well... I'm going to set up another stockpile in. So I have some Gabbro blocks, so I can indeed build the pump. Let's go for it. Screw pump. Uh, pump from the east, yes, that is correct. Okay, and we want Gabbro blocks. Glass tube, glass screw, there we go. That is ready to be built. And, yeah, the fortification has been dug out over there, hasn't it? Yeah. I I think as it's a natural wall, it won't get melted by the magma, but <laughs> there's no guarantees. I don't know. Right, okay, you're coming down here to design this. Good stuff. Oop, what's going on? A human caravan? Hmm, maybe we do have humans nearby. Uh... Have we had a human caravan before? Yeah, I think maybe we have, actually. I'm probably just being retarded. Uh, move goods to stuff. Now, yeah, I, I don't... Like, coins have their own section on here, but I don't see it. Uh, so I'm going to try and figure that out off-camera. <laughs> yeah, coins have their own stockpile... Uh, designation thing category, but I don't have my coins on a stockpile, so they're not showing up on the left there. So I basically have to go through all, but they're all right next to each other, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I don't know... well, 
I have um I have obsidian short swords to sell them as well. I guess I could sell them those. If I could find weapons. <laughs> uh, it's just I'm blind, that's my problem. There we go. Obsidian short swords, not worth a lot, but whatever. We'll get shut of them. Hotkey number seven, there we go. Awesome. Right, you are waiting for an architect. Wait, we don't have a lot of idlers in this fort. We have two, and those are both our medical dwarves. I know they're our medical dwarves because they're the only ones who have no labors other than... Uh, oh, you've become your dis destruction. That was a Freudian slip. Oh, wow, what have you got? Three pieces of andesite. Gold bars times two. Chestnut logs and some clear zircons. All right. Jesus Christ. I don't know what you're going to make there, but I shall be intrigued to see it. I do have another pick. I think I ordered like two of them. Fishery worker. No job. And you are not in a squad. So you shall be retrained as a miner. There you go. And the merchants are just about making their way here. I don't know if any of these coins managed to get put in the workshop. I can see somebody bringing a sword. Uh, it seems to revert to an ASCII character when it's being hauled. Hmm, I don't know. Because I saw them have a, their own unique tile. Ooh, there's a spear there. Let's uh, give that to this guy, Aiden Rush. He doesn't currently have any weapon. Uh, copper spear. There we go. What on earth was all this crap? Oh, God. <laughs> yes, I wish the, the merchant stuff didn't show up in that menu. That would be nice. Let's request a trader. And somebody just collapsed unconscious in the trade depot. Who is that? Udil Storlitz does... He's been spending too much time engraving, I guess. Right, they're still unloading. Oh. A couple of babies have grown up to be children. Wow. We've only been here a couple of years. That's uh, quite impressive, actually. Oh, wow. There's a, somebody falling asleep in the mechanics workshop there as well. Yeah, I need beds. Yeah, let's designate some beds. Okay, designated a bunch of beds to be placed in the rooms and put doors on most of them. I only have one door left, but it's my magma safe door and it needs to go there. So, that's that for now. Uh, yeah, actually, I think... I, I could have just blocked this corridor off, rather than just build a door there. I could just permanently block it off. I don't know. It would probably work, I think. But I shall stick to the original design, I think. Right, let's, uh, let's see how many dwarf books we have when we offer all this stuff to them. 7,000, that's respectable, I guess. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go through and look and see what they've got and buy stuff. Yes.